Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and this is the Starwheel Astrology and Healing Newsletter for February 2021. Uh, so this video and its associated blog is simply a very straightforward summary of the main astrological energies and of the other blogs and videos making up our February newsletter that relate to healing modalities. So um, I want to start by summarising very briefly the astrology energies of February 2021. But each of these energies is actually exceptionally big and very important to understand and each of them has its separate blog and video. So this newsletter ties everything together and provides the summary statement but do look into all the add-on videos and blogs because there's so much more detail and wisdom and help and support there. So February 2021 is a month of strange, fluctuating and extreme energies. There are exceptional, big, conflicting energies for us to be aware of, to perceive, to understand and to spiritually manage our lives in the midst of them. If we can perceive and understand and manifest these energies in a spiritual way, then we'll experience many successes and spiritual growth. Easier said than done. Wait till you hear about them. Now, let me say at this point that if you want to see charts for the planet positions, for the dates of the lunations, um, for the planet dignities at different points in the year, go to my Starwheel Astrology website and go to the 2021 February page where there is a summary of all the newsletter parts and a load of charts for you to see. So let me say Firstly, the key energy points of February 2021 are the Vedic signs of Capricorn and Aries. Also, Libra is uh, majorly affected by the opposition of the energies that are in Aries. So what are these massive and indeed rare energies? Well, the first one is the rare and massive Saturn-Pluto-Jupiter conjunction in Vedic Capricorn. And exceptionally this month, it's joined by Sun, Mercury, Venus and the Moon as well. This needs to be heard about, this needs to be understood if we are to get any understanding of the energies coming at us that we have to live with and grow with and that our societies have to live with, grow with and for both individuals and society that we have to change because of. So first of all there's the rare and massive Saturn-Pluto-Jupiter conjunction in Vedic Capricorn. But secondly there's the angry revolutionary Mars conjunct Uranus in Vedic Aries. Now these conjunctions, these two conjunctions are actually square each other and so they're fighting it out. You see the Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto and all the rest in Capricorn is dominated by the values of Saturn which if we experience them negatively, are repressive and blocking. But the energies that are square these in Vedic Aries are angry and fiery. So we have a war between very different titans 
going on in our consciousness, in our emotions, in our body energies, in the heavens. So the third point I want to make in this overall summary, and remember each of these points has its own special video and blog to go into detail, the third point is that Mars moves into Vedic Taurus on the 22nd of February. So Mars is conjunct Uranus in Vedic Aries at the start of the month, but Mars crosses on the 22nd of February into the next sign, Vedic Taurus. But this creates an increasingly dangerous energy because in Vedic Taurus already is Rahu, the transiting North Node. So Mars will be closing, closing, closing on Rahu. And that is an angry conjunction and it too casts an energy into Vedic Capricorn where Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto are and all the rest. So it, it's important to be aware and to look out for anger in, in us as an individual and in our societies because we're moving from Mars conjunct Uranus in Aries to Mars conjunct Rahu in Taurus. These are energies of anger, polarisation, uh, fighting, they're tense and explosive. And... They're aspecting the other great conjunction in Capricorn, ruled by Saturn. And remember, when Saturn is experienced negatively, it means repression. And there will be rebellion against that. Um, Pluto is invaded Capricorn, and Pluto negatively activates the shadow and our darkness and our dark use of power as individuals and as countries. So the fourth point, and you can read the blog to see a clear summary, is that the nodes of the moon are major energies in February 2021 with Rahu transiting Vedic Taurus and Ketu transiting Vedic Scorpio. Now to find out how any of these huge exceptional energies will affect your life, you want to look up what house in your Vedic birth chart is Capricorn, where Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto is? What house in your Vedic birth chart is Mars, is, sorry, is Aries, where Mars uh, Uranus is? What house in your Vedic birth chart is Taurus, where Mars Rahu will be? And what house in your Vedic birth chart is Scorpio, where Ketu, the south node, is vastly transiting now? Now, on my um, 2021 website pages, on my starwheelastrology.com website, there are wonderful help guides. So there's a, there's a description of which life area is every house. There's a description of the minimum data necessary to understand the super powerful and wonderfully declarative nakshatras, the 27 lunar signs of Vedic astrology. Um, there is a timetable of Saturn's transits. Um, there's many, many uh, interpretation guides you can look up to get your own understanding of these exceptional energies and the energies of every month. So the links are shown on the month page on my Star Wheel Astrology website. And of course you can get a reading with me. I always spend a lot of time preparing for each reading. You get the recordings afterwards, a video recording and an audio recording. You can correspond with me afterwards. They're very, very helpful. I feel proud of the readings I give. And I've been doing this for 26 years. So, uh, fifthly, in this brief summary, is Neptune in Aquarius, 
where Neptune is square the nodal axis, 90 degrees to the north node, 90 degrees to the south node. And this brings us a fated, destined challenge now to understand what is real. This applies to each of us as individuals, and we saw it big time in what went on in the United States. So the challenge now is for us to understand what is intuition and vision guidance? But what is illusion? It's a difficult time and it's a destined, fated time for our great spiritual learning. And so if we're living in illusion, people may turn out to be not what we had assumed them to be at this time. Situations at this time could be revealed to be very untrustworthy. And so we all of us have a major spiritual challenge um, and we have to manage the uncertainty of reality versus illusion because of Neptune square the nodes at this time. So these are difficult energies, but as I said, the divine purpose in all this is that we grow. We grow spiritually. Darkness, in a sense, is on the rise, you know, for example, from the Pluto transit, especially in the United States, where Pluto is closing on natal Pluto in the United States birth chart, and it'll have its first exact in March 2023. But as the dark grows, so many people will be impelled to embrace the light. This is so important. So we each of us have to decide what is the purpose, the life purpose, the spiritual purpose of this ongoing endless experience of all the difficulties of 2020 and a very difficult start to 2021. So what changes will arise in us out of all this? What will all this launch us towards, launch us to become, launch us to do in our life? What, what do we want to launch to in our life? Where do we want areas of our life to bring in revolution and change and death and rebirth? Because revolution and change and death and rebirth are the energies of this moment. So we each of us have to find the spiritual practice that is right for us to meet this challenging energy time and to grow and strengthen us. And just to say very briefly, and I put more detail in the blog associated with this video, I'm getting calmed and, and I'm committed to writing my current novel, The Morrigan and the Dagda. And I do two vision journeys a week. Um, and part of that is to feed me with the material from the, for each chapter. And I do these vision journeys with great embodiment, fully becoming in my body and on the land. Um, my wife, Healer Maggie Pashley, has been focusing on great developments in hypnotherapy healing modalities. So the question is, what spiritual practice or creative work or learning or healing is right for you? As the response to these super tense, conflicting, angry and blocking energies. Now I want to make a special mention of a couple of other add-on um, blogs and videos, as all as part of our February 2021 newsletter. And first of all, I want to mention something that's laid on by Claire Louise uh, Nifton, who... Um, ran the monthly Heal Affairs in the wonderful West of Ireland spiritual and healers community. But sadly, of course, it's closed due to coronavirus. And she has just started offering wonderful guided online dance sessions. Now, these are every Monday at 7.15 Irish and British time. Uh, so that's also called 7.15 UTC or 7.15 in the evening, Greenwich Mean Time. So, 
These are to combat the isolation and inward looking of living under coronavirus restrictions, which are very blanketing in Ireland. So people in the United States are either five or going up to eight hours earlier. They are so welcome to join Claire's only charging 15 euros a head. So look at the blog where I give her email and her website, get in touch with her, join us. Her dance sessions are super special. The music she chooses is wonderful. Her, her skills are as a healer of ancestral damage. And um, each dance session is a wonderful healing experience as well. Do get in touch with Claire. And then another new contribution, a special one, is my wife Maggie Pashley is offering online healings, a special offer of a method called Old Fat To Go. So Old Fat To Go is forming a partnership with your unconscious to lose weight. Uh, Maggie... Maggie's website is given in the blog. It's www.maggiepashley.com. Another very special offering is Elizabeth Hendricks' online Kabbalah course. This is the most wonderful online course I helped Elizabeth create it. And I will never forget as she was working with each Sephiroth in the Kabbalah. I, she transmitted the particular energies of each Sephiroth and the Kabbalah energies entering one's body. It's a learned, easily accessible course, very, very genuine. It has a page in the Starwheel Astrology website. Do enrol for it. So many people are taking up courses and progressing spiritually at this time of coronavirus lockdown. And the other thing that Elizabeth Hendricks does, she lives in Portland, Oregon, is she does wonderful, wonderful online psychic readings and healings. And there's a page for her psychic readings and healing too on the starwheelastrology.com website. And then another very worthwhile offering that we're sharing with the world at this time is from Leah Cruz, who lives in Florida, who teaches the runes so powerfully and has done so for many years. So you can learn about the runes and at this difficult time, you can get in touch with Leah Cruz and order a bind rune. So a bind rune is a special combination of runes and each rune has a special magical transformative energy. And a bind rune can connect us and keep us on our needed new path for a relationship, for a job, for some facet of our life. The runes are actually the sacred alphabet of the ancient Norse and I can tell you that I first learned them in 1969 as an undergraduate at Oxford University where my tutor in this was Christopher Tolkien who was indeed the son of J.R.R. Tolkien, who was also an Oxford professor. So enrol for Leah Crew's very special runes offerings at the website. The address is in the blog, the associated blog. It's www.runepath.com and that's www.rune-path.com. So now I just want to give you a verbal summary of all the different parts of the February 2021 Astrology and Healing Newsletter, each of which has its video and its blog. So on the astrology side of things, there's a detailed presentation of the massive and rare Jupiter-Saturn-Pluto conjunction in Capricorn in February 2021. There's a very good presentation of what energies we'll be receiving from, in fact, six planets in Vedic Capricorn in February 2021 must be understood. Thirdly, 
there's a good presentation about the violent Mars-Uranus conjunction in Aries in February 2021. Um, next, there is a presentation on the upcoming dangerous mars Rahu north node conjunction in Taurus in February to April 2021. There's a very good presentation in more detail about what it means to be receiving the energies of Neptune, square the nodal axis, true vision or illusion in February 2021. There's a good explanation of the energy of Kalsapi Yoga in February 2021. Briefly, Kalsapi Yoga is when all or most of the planets are to one side of the nodal axis. And so it's a preposterous and divisive energy, in fact. And even when you have a planet or two on the other side, those are unsupported. So particularly if it's the moon that's the other side from all the planets, well, the Kalsabha Yoga is certainly no better because you have an unsupported moon where the moon is our consciousness. And the last of the astrology-related videos and blogs, newsletter parts, are is, sorry, the legacy of Inauguration Day and the new US President. But as I mentioned, there are some non-astrology blogs and videos as well. There's Old Fat To Go, a very useful healing technique with Maggie Pashley. There's Elizabeth Hendricks' online Kabbalah course. There's Elizabeth Hendricks' online psychic readings. There's Leah Cruz, Rune Course and Bind Runes. And so you can book an astrology reading with me at www.starwheelastrology.com or you can book one of my wife Maggie Pashley's many, many, many online healing modalities offered worldwide. And they are in www.maggiepashley.com so all the addresses for the website links are in the associated blog.